Hey y'all, let's take a look at uh, conjunctions a little more. First off, let's look at uh, how we do a conjunction. We've done these before. And remember the way we do this is to take it and basically treat it as if it's two inequalities like this. So in other words, uh, first off we would say, okay, X is less than 10. And assuming let's use all real numbers is what we're allowed to use. So in that case, it would be less than 10, which is everything from there to there. This part would be five is less than X. Five is less than X. Now, if you don't like to view things that way, which I don't, I feel like I'm reading Arabic or something going like the wrong, like right to left. You can flip this thing and go X and then flip this and make it a greater than and make, and make that five. In other words, if you're, you know, if you're, let's say, looking at this at a mirror like that, and you see the X on the left and the greater than like that in the five, or whatever. So X is greater than five is gonna be from here to here. So in other words, your answer is from here to there. Greater than five and less than 10, that's the conjunction, all right? We're gonna add a little twist to this, which is this, which means, in other words, we don't have just an X in the middle of those two like we did on this one. We have an X plus three or whatever they give you. Okay, the trick to doing this, let me tell you the three steps, okay? Number one, if you wanna write this down, you can. Add negative three to each part of the above conjunction, just like each one is its individual, you know, inequality, or almost like an equation. There's an equation, there's an equation. Do the same thing, okay? Graph it. Last step is love the conjunction as your very own child. That's optional. This is an optional step. Okay, let's at least do A and B. Okay, so the first one we have, let's do this one first, it's easier looking. X plus three is less than 10. Well, that means that X is less than, if you move that over, seven, okay? And we'll pretend it's just all real numbers. So less than seven, this is what it looks like, all the way, okay? The other part is four is less than X plus three. Ugh, I hate looking at it like that, so I'm gonna do it exactly like the looking through the mirror thing. I'm just going to go x plus 3 is not less than, but greater than 4, which will give me x is greater than 1, okay? Not including 1. In other words, it's from here all the way to here, you know, and forever, which means our answer is between here and there. Okay, and that's how you do that. All right, so let's try one. Pause and copy and write this down if you need to. Um, let's bust it up. Let's take this part first. So we'll go x minus four is less than two. Well, of course, that makes it x is less than, moving over, six, right? And we're allowed to use integers. So anything less than six is here, 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 here. I'm just gonna make little marks like this. Oh, mm, mm, mm. oops, I shouldn't have done that one. It should have been there. You, you see what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's do the second one, which is this one, which is negative five less than or equal to x minus four, and I despise this, so I'm gonna switch the whole thing around. x minus four is greater than or equal to negative five, okay? This goes over here, and x is greater than or equal to negative one, okay? We are allowed to use integers, so this time, x is greater than or equal to negative one will be this. It'll be here, it'll be there, it'll be there, 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 and forever and ever and so on. So what you're looking at is, um, oops, yeah, I'm not allowed to use six, that's okay. So it's from here all the way to here. That is our answer, just those integers, okay. All right, a disjunction is different from a conjunction. A conjunction means this and that, like the ones we just did. It has to match both of those inequality uh, parameters. The disjunction, it's, both of them. It can be either one of them. So you're going to have disjointed kind of looking graphs when you do these kind of things, okay? Here's a typical example. Uh, graph this, and you can, you know, pause and copy. This, and of course, here's the key word is or. Either one of those will work. And you're allowed to use integers. So let's do the first one. X is greater than or equal to three. So that'll be three, four, five, six, you know, and just so on. All right? X is also less than or equal to negative two which gives us this, you know, all the way on the wall and so on. Okay, piece of cake, all right? The second one, let's look at this. X is greater than 15, that's real numbers. So greater than 15, we'll just pretend that 15 is right there. 
you know, greater than, so an open circle and everything like that. Or x is less than or equal to 10. Well, here's our 10. It includes 10. So a closed circle all the way there. There you go. Piece of cake for, dis for disjunctions. Okay, try A and B and uh, pause it and try A. We'll do this in a second together. All right, well, let's do this part first. This x is less than 9, which will be the first part. All right, so we're allowed to use all real numbers. So there's the 9, and it's everything all the way there. Okay, I'll just do a different color here. All right, and the second one will be this one. All right, so 6 is less than or equal to x minus 2, which means, you know, you, know, you can go ahead and move this first if you want to. So you just have the x on this side and you have the over there is the 8. So 8 is less than or equal to x, which means x is greater than or equal to 8. Okay? Real numbers. Greater than or equal to 8. That's going to be here all the way to there. So our answer that matches both of those is right there. That part right there. All right? Let's try B. Pause it and try B. All right, this is a disjunction. Let's do this one first, it's simpler. We're allowed, allowed to use integers. Uh, greater than or equal to seven, well, it's gonna be this, and so on. Okay. The second one, negative x is greater than uh, negative three, well, which that tells us, of course, you know what to do if you divide by negative one all the way across, right? This is gonna be x here, this will be negative, or excuse me, negative one, it'll be positive three, and this symbol will change so it's less than. So x is less than positive 3. And these are integers. So it'll be this, 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 and you know, on forever. So there you go. And those are disjunctions and new, new conjunctions. Okay. So I'll see you guys next time.